Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another Oh, wow! moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. It's Halloween, one of my favorite holidays, and I whipped up a batch of something real special. Check this out. People have lots of different names for this. I call it slime. I would call it some gooey, ooey dolphin <laughs> slime. <laughs> but I call it now, Ublik has some really unique properties, but we'll get to those in a minute. First, we gotta mix up a batch. Warning. 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 Science is fun, 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 and you get to learn a lot. But it can be messy and potentially dangerous sometimes, so always make sure you have a responsible adult working with you. Did you know that? You'll need a mixing bowl, cornstarch, water, food coloring, a spoon, and a measuring cup. Let's get mixing. The first step is to color your water. You want to make sure the water is much darker than the color you want, as it will lighten up quite a bit when you add the cornstarch. The most important thing about making Ublek is the ratio of water to cornstarch. In other words, because we have about one cup of colored water, we'll need about two cups of cornstarch. First, pour about half your water into the bowl. Next, add all the cornstarch. Then, add the rest of the water. Tilt and swirl the bowl around, allowing the water and cornstarch to mix. Eventually, however, someone is going to have to get their hands dirty. When you mix up oobleck, you need to knead it like dough. So you need to get your hands up underneath the cornstarch and really stir it around. Now, it's going to be a little hard to do, but you'll know you got it right when the whole thing pours like a liquid, but when you smack it, it feels like a solid. So how can oobleck be both a solid and a liquid? Because it's a non-Newtonian fluid. Newtonian, as in Newton. No, not those. Sir Isaac Newton, the 17th century physicist who first described how fluids have their viscosity. Viscosity is how much a fluid resists flow. In other words, how thick it is. Water, for example, is a very thin fluid. It doesn't have much viscosity. It spins easily. Some motor oil additives, however, have very high viscosity. They're thick. Newtonian fluids, like water, don't change their viscosity when you apply a force. But some non-Newtonian fluids, like oobleck, actually increase their viscosity when you apply a force, which is why it feels solid when you press hard against it. But why is oobleck a non-Newtonian fluid? Well, scientists think it has something to do with the molecules. Remember that molecules are the very teeny tiny itty bitty things that make up everything all around us. The molecules in starch are very, very long, kind of like this dry spaghetti. So if we take all this spaghetti, or starch in this case, and suspend it in water, like in our oobleck here, it's gonna look more like cooked spaghetti than raw spaghetti. So it feels like a liquid because when you move your fingers slowly through it, the molecules get pushed out of the way. But when you press down hard on it, it feels like a solid because the molecules get compressed under your hand. So what can you really do with your oobleck? Well, you can put it inside your haunted house and really gross kids out with a lovely slime. 
or, you know, you can just plain have fun with it. We wish you a very slimy Halloween and hope we've inspired you to have your own oh wow moment.